one of the main challenges for creating the climb was of course first of all performance because we have to render the game at 90 frames per second which is something that we haven't done before at Crytek and something that probably most game studios haven't done before. They first said 70 frames and I thought yeah they're kidding that cannot be true they they will say this and in the end they will say no okay it's fine you might need to reach 50 or something but they came up with we have to reach 90. It's amazing we achieved to be honest because when you check previous titles it's like well it's always struggling to get the 30 or the 60. VR players have the same expectation to visuals as they know from their screens, which is already dramatic for us because we have so much less power actually to work with when we go for 90 frames per second. Now you have new challenges from a design perspective because you you're using a lot more of the 3D space than what you previously had used. Fortunately for us, we have the CryEngine, which you know is well suited for this. In addition, we learned a lot about optimization the size of each eye that we were rendering was a full screen size. Shadows, for example, initially we were uh, rendering shadows for each eye, we need only to render from one eye, so that was a waste. The 90 frames killer is mostly the draw calls and not the triangles. That means we have to reduce the amount of individual objects. So normally in a five square meter area where you would have hundreds of objects, we need to bring these objects together and make them one, two, three objects. As people can really lean forward to see all the details, you need to make sure that all the close-ups are in high detail. So you can't fake, you can't just place objects to make it feel lively. For example, when we look at what we're currently doing with our hands in the game, there's this extreme detail where every single stitch is hand modeled. And then there's this gigantic background against this. And it all is put to scale because you have the stitches there and you see the mountain there. And it's suddenly, wow, that, if that's so small and so detailed, the entire world must be so detailed. But at the same time, it gives us the challenge to bring all this close range detail to this massive environment, at least to the area where you climb. We have never placed an object in the editor in a 7mm area. We never had something so small as an individual hook with individual seams and rims and scratches on it. Everybody in AAA production knows normal map baking as their typical go-to process to make something look great on a screen. So you take detailed information on a high-poly model and bake it into a map for an object. But unfortunately, in actual stereoscopic vision, that falls apart completely. You actually, in VR, see that something like that is really flat. It will actually look like something is made out of paper, like folded paper with painted on shadows and lights. So we need to use more geometry and basically just reminding everybody when they show me a screenshot on their screens, like, okay, let's look at that in VR first, because it could look a lot less impressive than you think. We actually tried something in this production that we haven't tried before. So there's this new trendy photodrametry scene where you take photos of an asset loaded on a server and this is giving you back the geometry of the asset. Whoa. These things just present a new opportunity. And because of this, a lot of great design, a lot of great engagement was created from these kind of challenges. Achieved with CryEngine.